Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to clear your cache files for your Shopify store online from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator. So as you can see here, here's what my dashboard looks like. And the idea here is we want to make sure that we're logged in, like I said, and um, the thing about the cache files and cookies for your Shopify store are tied to your browser. So to clear it is quite simple. The first thing that we're going to do is um, open up our browser like so. And then we would navigate to the top right corner of the screen till we see the ellipses or the three dots that will bring down the drop down menu where we get to configure a browser. So I'm going to click on it like so, and you'll see that there's a drop down <clears throat> for Shopify. Now you have two options here being you can clear all of your browsing data and this would effectively uh, clean all the cache files that pertain to Shopify as well as other websites that are registered on um, your device or your browser. Or um, if you want to do it manually, you guys could actually click on settings and this should take you to um, Chrome settings where you actually have the option to clear the cookies and cache files for just Shopify. And to do so, just click on um, the search bar once you're there and type Shopify and there should be an icon in the shape of a trash can that will allow you to delete the, the cookies or the cache files. Now, the easiest way obviously is to just click on the ellipses, like I said, just like that. And then you would want to select um, clear browsing data. Now this would effectively uh, clean up the files that you have installed on your PC that help the store run. So if you're if you encounter a bug or a glitch where your store is not running correctly or you can't load a page or whatnot, then this would effect effectively fix the problem. So yeah, that's all there is to it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So be sure to subscribe to that so you don't miss out on our videos. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.